प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने आज सिंगापुर में बिजनेस लीडर्स से मुलाकात की मुलाकात के बाद तमाम बिजनेस लीडर्स ने भारत में व्यापार के सकारात्मक कदमों को लेकर प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की सराहना की It's it's a very exciting you know to uh, meet with uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi in person. His leadership is exceptional, you know. For the past uh, this is his third term, right? For the past two term you can see that India has become one of the the major uh, player globally, the fifth largest the uh, the, uh, the economies in the world. And uh, I would like to uh, uh, continue to uh, uh, um, uh, 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 encourage encourage him to open up the market you know to consider some of the new policies you know or improve some of the existing policy to encourage more collaboration you know with uh, particularly with singaporean companies and then uh, with the singaporean investments we're talking about you know high efficiency uh, transportation systems we're talking about smart cities we're talking about the the energy uh, uh, strategy and planning for clean and you, uh, reusable energy and hydrogen and then also the other uh, very important sector is aviation with the uh, the population growth you know we'll see the uh, aviation related uh infrastructure will be uh, in high demand right. so these are the uh, areas and of course the uh, the most critical part is really the uh, sustainability and then we need to uh, be very uh, mindful about how to uh, design and plan and build the future cities in everything in a very sustainable way commitment to digital india the commitment to uh digitalization across all of indian society has been actually something that is uh, for a lot of places an example to follow yeah. and i think we've been uh, very excited and pleased by that because what we've been able to do is enable the economy this way the digital economy and we've been able to serve more than 1000 uh, uh, companies small medium large companies in india plus some of the big fortune 500 companies the big cloud players because that enables them to come in and provide the digital infrastructure to allow all the other things like ai uh, uh, greater e-commerce and 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 the proliferation of uh, uh, data penetration and broadband across the country to demonstrate money where our mouth is we are actually investing more than 26000 crores 3.2 billion us in the next 5 years to enable this it means that substantial 550 uh, megawatts of capacity will come online data center capacity which means that now the foundations across major cities and first second tier cities which we have been starting to invest in not just the first tier cities we've seen that basically that demand is is increasing rap yeah. rapidly and that will allow the the that core digital india story to really uh, expand and grow dramatically the fact that he spent so much time listening to the business interests and the issues as brought up by over 20 singapore businesses reflected a very pro business attitude that the prime minister has past many businesses has always said that india is a very difficult market for investments but the last 10 years have seen that to really change as testified by many of the companies that were represented today they have seen a growth whether it's in aviation whether it's in industrial park whether is it in uh, financial services i think things are opening up and uh, many of the businesses that gathered today have pledged increased investments into different parts in india particularly in the renewable energy in the opening up of the air uh, services as well as in the financial area i think we are very encouraged by that and i think one particular area that pm modi spent a bit time talking was in skills development right. and i think that's a big area where singapore can contribute to uh, not only in terms of uh, the skills development but opportunity to do accreditation of the training providers there in the power industry uh, i would argue that uh, the power industry deserves a re-rating in india you know uh, prime minister modi and his uh, ministries uh, over the last few years implemented this very uh, important uh, policies that enable the uh, viability and the credibility of the solar electricity corporation of india uh, and now we you know with the success of that you know we wanted to bring in ntpc nhpc hjvn uh, to also um, you know mirror 
the efforts by Seki. So from that perspective, as a foreign investor in the renewable sector, this will present tremendous opportunities for us to pursue. और इसी के साथ ही समाचार में अभी के लिए इतना ही दीजिए अनुमति नमस्कार